my name is Lena and welcome to my channel. Today's video is my second installment of sewing my spring wardrobe. The vibes that I'm going for are cottage core, flowy, light and airy, and most importantly comfortable since I work from home. I'm going to be sewing a button up shirt made out of a thrifted cotton sheet and just a simple long tiered skirt with an elasticated waistband. Thank you so much for watching, let's get into it. To make the button-up top, I lightly modified a men's button-up pattern that I've used for my boyfriend a couple of times. I really like the juxtaposition of using a floral fabric and dainty lace trim against a more boxy fit. I love doing sewing projects that match the time of year we're in because it really helps me stay present and truly embrace the current season. It is now spring as of a couple of days ago and aside from doing these sewing projects, I've also been embracing spring by working on my little garden. All of the seeds that I planted last week have been sprouting like crazy and it just truly feels like spring over here. I decided to gather the sleeves a tiny bit to not give it a puff sleeve, but just a little bit of interest. I think it turned out pretty cute, but when I do this pattern again in the future, I definitely want to make a few more changes just to make it a little more flattering. morning it is the final day of working on this project i did a bit of work off camera last night and it's looking pretty good but unfortunately i am going to have to redo it here is what we are working with so i just used a contrasting white fabric to make a collar and the button tape but unfortunately the neckline and therefore the collar are both a bit too small and i don't like how they look i'm out of the white fabric so i'm going to use the same floral fabric that the rest of the top is made out of to cut out all new pieces, re-sew them on, and then all I have to do is finish the sleeves and the top will be done. was much happier with this version of the collar and I did like the white fabric but I do kind of think that having the same colored fabric for the collar as the rest of the shirt does make it flow a little nicer. To finish it off I added a button and then a couple of ribbons in the back that you'll see here in just a minute. Here is how it turned out.
did not get much footage, but it was very simple and I didn't follow a pattern, but I did follow a tutorial by Rosary Apparel, which I will link below for the waistband. For the rest of the skirt, I just did three simple tiers, each one getting a little bit longer and wider as you go down the skirt. That was everything that I sewed this week for my spring wardrobe, and my next sewing project is going to be recreating a dress I have been seeing all over Pinterest and desperately want to wear. Thank you so much for watching, here's the skirt. Just a dream, just all